Fala, meu povo! Tudo bom com vocês? Amanhã, dia 8 de junho de 2022, estreia Miss Marvel no streaming do Disney+. Plus. E a gente vai conhecer não só uma nova heroína que entra no universo Marvel, como também uma personagem super carismática que eu tenho certeza que muita gente vai se identificar. Para celebrar essa grande estreia, eu bati um papo com os diretores, que também são produtores executivos da série. Eles são marroquinos, super alegres e super dedicados ao projeto. Confere aí o meu papo e a gente vai desbravar gravando o mundinho da Miss Marvel aos pouquinhos durante o vídeo. Como ela faz para convencer todo mundo de que ela é boa? Não importa ser bom ou não, Kamala. Importa fazer o bem. Congratulations for your work, Kamala Khan is absolutely amazing. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, what is the easiest and the hardest part of making a story about a superhero fan in this Marvel universe? It's always a, it's always hard to try to you know how to make an origin story of a character that is not known before and and trying to make somebody that's you know likable and charming and 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 hopefully relatable not only to. Muslim girls all over in the world, but it's just everybody. And uh, and it was very important to set that character right in the pilot, where you just see her environment, her world, her family, her friends, and 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 just you know a grounded story of somebody that looks up to a superhero, and uh, and and that you follow, that you're that's endearing, and all of a sudden she becomes a superhero, and then she's you know very awkwardly looking for her, her place and role into that larger universe, and not knowing where the, where she belongs. So. So that was, I think that that's always a challenge to, does it work? Are people in love with that character? And I, I hope that we succeeded. É importante se atentar que muito de Kamala Khan, muito de Miss Marvel, a gente identifica em nós mesmos. A gente vive num mundo onde a Marvel é uma realidade. E a Kamala Khan também. Então, ver as referências da cultura pop do mundo que a gente vive dentro da história dela é uma das partes mais divertidas da série. E eu tenho certeza que você aí do outro lado vai ficar procurando easter egg em tudo quanto é canto. E eu falei um pouquinho sobre isso com os diretores também. She brings a new identity to Marvel Universe. The show is fun, visually beautiful and more. Modern. Can you talk about your creative process? We had a lot of influence for this show. Uh, you know, when we read the comic book, it's very, very colorful, vibrant, and, you know, Mala is so likable. So we had this uh, influence, like, you know, the American high school movies, like the John Hughes movies, or like uh, TV shows like Saved by the Bell or, or Peter Parker Can't Lose. But All Parker, these. No, Parker Lewis uh, can't Parker, lose. Parker, Parker, Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Parker can't lose. Parker, Parker Lewis can't lose. Yeah, and, and, you know, so all these American school shit that was, we were reading. Really in love with that and this was our opportunity to do mm. that and then also of course you know the animation like Spider-Verse was a big uh, influence and, and Scott and, Pilgrim uh, yeah so and it was not presented in the script so we really tried to get that animation in to really represent her you know imagination and fantasy a dream world so when we pitched that to Kevin Feige he liked it to our surprise he was like ah that's nice because it's totally different than all the other Marvel shows and and then you have the you know the music the editing the the the, the cool shots all that stuff Stuff. We, uh, you know our flavor our Moroccan a and B flavor is in it so that's that was our yeah you know our stuff for the show and yeah. even she did it Deus because she so Deus energetic is big... really fast-paced colorful and, and and we really look like you know like Moroccan culture we, we have the same sim similarities <laughs> yeah. just on our life yeah <laughs> Não são as meninas morenas de Jersey City que salvam o mundo. Isso sim é fantasia. Do you have any favorite character from MCU that you'd like to see interacting with Kamala? Well, you know, I mean, we love Peter Parker. You know, Spider-Man, <laughs> that's obviously... It I has mean, the even, same energy. Yeah, Tom Holland also came on set, uh, on uh, yeah, the VengerCon set, you know, and it was mind-blowing. It was also, like, you know, really seeing the whole set. I thought it was super cool, so that would be cool. Uh, but obviously, I mean, for us, Miles Morales, because he's from Into the Spider-Verse, but even Deadpool and Blade, because it's so different. It's so dark. So, and, and, <laughs> <laughs> so that would be interesting to see what that, the contrast of that combination. My favorite scene is that dirty dancing moment with the Be My 
Baby music. Do you have any favorite moment? Well, there are, that's one of our favorite moments. I think that that you know the the, the whole Avenger Con sequence. Yeah. I think that was pretty epic. I mean, we were we were there like as if we were fans taking pictures, playing yeah. with all the toys and all that. So the the direct the, the producer had to grab us and and force us to the, focus on the directing. Yeah. But uh, also the Hulk scene with the father. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the Hulk scene. Uh, the opening <laughs> animation. You know, all the animation yeah. moments. Uh, that that's really like where they're biking and you see the murals and and the dream sequences, all that. Was, was pretty also also the mask scene is the first time we see a mask in, yeah. in, uh, in the Marvel it, universe. It was originally we directed it was originally in the first episode, but it's now in the second one. But that was like you know super cool to do. A big uh, honor to shoot that. Yeah. Yes. Você tá olhando pela janela na sua terra da fantasia. Kamala, hey, sério? Fala sério, tipo. Eu tenho que traçar o meu futuro até o almoço ou pode ser depois. É sempre legal bater um papo com alguém que faça parte de uma equipe técnica da produção de uma série. Eu adoro esse tipo de conversa e muito feliz de bater um papo com eles e estou bem animada para vocês assistirem Miss Marvel também. Então não esqueça, amanhã, dia 8 de junho, estreia Miss Marvel no Disney+. Plus. A série vai ter seis episódios ao todo e eu já estou torcendo pela segunda temporada e pela Kamala Khan nos cinemas também. Comenta aqui o que você achou desse papo e o que você achou da série. Caso você esteja assistindo esse vídeo depois da estreia no Disney Plus. Beijos, obrigada Disney pelo convite e até a próxima. Tchau. Você sabe o que você é. Sou uma super heroína. Ei. Ei.